Hello, James Grady here from internetbizuni.com and in today's video I will be giving you a review of the recent event that I was at. The event was called Expert Empires and it was here in London. The event was on last week, it was on Wednesday and Thursday of last week, so it was a two-day event and it had lots of different speakers speaking about growing your online presence and generally just building a business online. So I said that I'd shoot a video about it because a lot of you have asked. I've been putting up different posts uh, while I was at the event and I have a lot of other content to put up. So again, if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button to this channel and you will see that content when I upload it. A lot of it will be around the Grant Cardone speech as he was the main speaker at the event. But now I'm just going to jump into the good and bad about it because I know a lot of you are wondering, are these events worth it? Uh, what are the good points from it? What are the bad points? So that's what I'm going to go through in this video. So first things first, I'm going to go through the good points. So the first good point was the event organizer. His name is Nick James. I didn't know a whole lot about him uh, in the past, but I wasn't kind of, you know, I wasn't sure what to expect from him. But his talks were actually really good and really informative. And he was one of the best uh, speakers at the event. So throughout the event, there was a line of different speakers, but he was definitely one of the best. He was given a lot of valuable information, and he even went through uh, the previous year's event. The previous year's event, they had Gary V as the main speaker of the event. So he went through all of the different costs, and Gary V cost him a hundred grand to get him to speak at the event. And then he went through all of the rest of his costs, and in total, his costs were a hundred and ninety grand for the previous year's event. But then he went through the money he brought in and he brought in, I think it was just under 490,000. I think it was something like that, that we worked out for the two day event that he put together. He made like 300 grand out of the event, which is amazing, you know, but it was his transparency and his uh, information that he was given that I found, you know, extremely useful and information that you could actually use in the future when developing your own businesses online and offline. So he was one of the, the best parts of the whole event, you know, his speeches, as he gave a lot of extremely good information. The second good point was a speaker called Ryan Pinnock. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. He was from South Africa and he speaks a lot about uh, personal development and basically self-awareness, finding out who you are yourself, what your strengths are, and what he called unleashing your genius. And basically what he was saying is you need two things to do this. You need to obviously get creative and put work out there and then get an audience to view your work. And doing this over a long period of time will allow you to find what he was calling your genius. But it, you know, all in all, his speech was just really good. It was a great mix between entertainment and informative value. And that's why I really liked uh, his talk. I, again, didn't know anything about him before the event, but he's definitely a person that I'm going uh, following online in the future just to see uh, more of the content that he puts out because I think he got the balance perfect between entertainment and actually informative value. The third thing that I found uh, good about the event was just in general watching uh, how the event was organized, how it was monetized, and just taking what I thought were the good and bad points about that. And that's kind of what I'm putting into this video is the good and bad points so that you can see. But it was in general seeing that firsthand for myself and seeing how I would do it differently if I was to do it. And again, it's not saying, oh, I would run a way better event or I would just do things uh, differently. And that is, you know, one of the main points of going to these things is being able to see it firsthand, seeing, I wouldn't do that, I, I would do this different, just different things like that. And, and again, you know, you can do that no matter where you go, what business you go into, you can do that. And I'm constantly doing that. And being able to see that firsthand with a big event, you know, with a big speaker like Grant Cardone was very valuable. And I thought it was one of the best points as well about the whole event. Good point number four was Grant Cardone's speech. Make some noise for Mr. Grant Cardone! Again, if you kind of go to these events to simply just get value, get information, um, it's very difficult because a lot of the speakers are there nearly as entertainment. And that is what I found uh, with Grant Cardone's speech. I found that it was more of entertainment 
than it was actually pure value. There was big hype around it. He was talking a lot about money and how he likes to spend loads of money on, you know, random things, how he spent nine grand on his hotel room the night before, and different things like that. So it was a lot of entertainment um, with not a whole lot of value, but I really did enjoy it. I enjoyed the way he was speaking, the way he was, you know, talking about himself personally and how he likes to spend money and give money to this and that and i have been watching grand cardone for a while online now so it was good to actually see him in person uh, you know see the entertainment that he gives when he gives a talk uh, just being in around his presence again was another great point about the event ryan dice was another speaker who was there and i really enjoyed uh, meeting ryan dice uh, in person I got to speak with him there and have a little chat with him as well as watching his talks. I find Ryan Dice, again, very informative with the information that he gives. He runs a company called Digital Marketer uh, where he helps you know smaller businesses market themselves online. Uh, I've purchased uh, his course in the past and found it very informative. And again, his, his talk gave a lot of good value in it just in regards to how he runs his advertisement agency and how he gets leads and you know different things like that how he's using facebook chatbots and he went you know into real detail uh, in around facebook chatbots and explained how everyone should be setting them up now and it was funny the way he talked about this because it was just you know a couple of weeks ago where i put the video on youtube explaining how you can launch products on Amazon and how you should be using uh, Facebook chatbots to do this and again I will link up that video down in the description so if you are selling products on Amazon you definitely should be starting to use chatbots simply because the open rates from messages that you send through chatbots are like 95% comparing with like 30% for email so it's a lot easier way to get your message out there now again this won't always be the case and Ryan Dice kind of confirmed that he said you know now is the the open period with chatbots of course the engagement will go down over time as more and more people start using them but now is the time that you can really land grab with them so I will I'll link up that video so that you can check that video out for yourself on YouTube but finally the best part about it all and I always say this no matter what events you go to is the people that you meet at the events. That is hands down the best part of the events, the people that you network with. And there's just such a volume of people, like at these large events, there's so many people that go to them. This one had 800 people at it. So there's so many different people to network with. And when I'm networking, you know, I like to simply network like as naturally as possible. I hate when networking is just about pitching your business. Like I literally don't, even speak about it when I start networking because it's just really to build the conversation to get to know people to get to know what they do and of course tell them a bit about yourself but if you go into networking and you just start pitching it doesn't work and this happened a couple of times you know I spoke with social media experts and as soon as they found out what type of business I was in they were trying to get my business and you know it just doesn't come across well when you first meet someone so if you are going to these events and you do plan to network just keep that in mind that you don't have to be pitching people on your services it's simply to get the initial contact with them and I made a few initial contacts again not an amazing I'm not one of these people who can go around and meet all 800 people at the event I'm definitely not like that you know but I did meet four or five people that I found really interesting learned a few bits from and maybe uh, we'll speak with them again in the future as well as this there was two people uh, over from Ireland uh, one of them is a, a friend of mine from home and he was there with his business partner they're building a really cool business uh, back home in Ireland so it was really great to meet up with them and spend the two days with them at the event so that's it great they're all the good points and there was a lot of good points you know I really do uh, like going to live events I like meeting people in person as good and all as the internet is uh, it's just not the same when you're networking with people as when you meet them one-on-one -on -one, uh, have a conversation with them and just meet them in person but now the bad points and there are a couple so the first one was selling off masterminds like most speakers that were speaking there were pitching towards getting you to join their masterminds and you know I checked out the prices on a few of these masterminds uh, as they were talking about them and some of them was as much 25 grand a year to join the mastermind and again I'm all for masterminds and connect them with people that are you know in the same business as you but I just thought that a lot of their speeches was just simply 
created to direct you towards going to purchase their mastermind and this i felt was a bit sleazy with a couple of the talkers and again i'm not painting them all with it but there was a lot of the speakers that were just simply having their speech given very little value but everything was directed towards getting you to sign up for their mastermind and i even said it to my friend uh, who was sitting beside me at the event i said like it's no wonder that Gary V is so popular in this space now when you actually look at this like so many speakers their whole speech was about getting you to join their mastermind and that's simply not the case with Gary V and I've heard him say that time and time again that that's not what he's in it for and it's very clear that's not what he's in it for and it was very clear that a couple of the speakers you know weren't in to simply sell you onto their mastermind but there was a few and it was a big turn off because as soon as they would start pitching about it, I would start thinking back to their actual speech. And a lot of their speech was simply reverse engineered to get you to sign up for this mastermind. Which again, I think just lacked a bit of class and turned me off uh, some of these speakers straight away. And this was a picture that I took off a form that they were given out during Ryan Dice's speech. Getting you to sign up for one of his programs. And he was asking for payment there and then giving out a card so that you could enter your card details on it and I just think that this was a step too far like I would never be comfortable enough to just write my card details on a slip like this and hand it in somewhere random where everyone could see my card details and that's what I mean by when I say I think they overstepped the mark in pushing the sales a bit too much as it was already a paid event that we were at. The second bad point about the event that I want to speak about was uh, outside the main event there was like kiosks where you could speak with uh, the different sponsors of the event and some of the different speakers will be out there as well obviously selling their services and speaking with uh, leads for their businesses but i spoke with a couple of these uh, people out there and i clearly found straight away from the minute that i was talking to them that if you weren't kind of that interested in what they were selling that they had literally zero interest in you that there wasn't any kind of relationship building going on whatsoever that it simply pitch you uh, your product straight away and i found this very strong at this event you always see this at different events but i found this very strong at this event that you know they were simply trying to get you to sign up for their service without you know knowing anything about you without even knowing if their service will benefit you again i thought this lacked a bit of class and it wasn't all of the speakers or all of the sponsors but it was some of them that were doing this at this event and the third bad point from this event was again the overselling but this time it was done by the communication uh, that the event were doing with you so they would send you out uh, text messages when you signed up uh, you would simply give them your phone number so when i first signed up for the event uh, paid for the event received all the information great a couple of days before it uh, one of the guys rang me from the event and uh, yeah I was just chatting away like normal then he was saying do you know anyone who's going so I said yeah there's one of my friends might be going to it so he said straight away might be and I said yeah and he said well can you give me his number so that I can check if he's going so straight away I said no I'll just check if he's going myself to the event but uh, but this continued on uh, through the whole event you know they were constantly uh, texting so I got three text messages one day on about joining like Grant Cardone's uh, licensing program and mastermind and again these are all 25,000 uh, pound programs so I, I just thought this was a bit overkill as well as this I was getting like two emails um, and being sold to at the actual event so I think they got their point across enough about what they were trying to sell and I just think they crossed the line a bit they pushed it a bit too hard like one text message would have done the job you know even just saying it at the end of each of the talks you kind of you know you know what they're what they're selling so you have awareness about it but I just thought they they pushed it a bit too much and it was a bit overkill just on the communication side of things but all in all I actually thought that the pros outweighed the cons I thought it was a really good event I learned you know a few things of course you're not going to go to one of these events and learn everything you need to know but I did learn a few things and most of it was by simply just being there being present and seeing how the event was organized and again just seeing what I would like to do different and what would I keep the same because there was a lot of good points as mentioned above and if I do run one of these type of events in the future then again it's a great way to learn kind of you know what the good points are and what the bad points and even if I don't run one of these events just in general it's good to be able to observe 
uh, these events, see how they're done, see how people are selling. I always love, like I'm weird, I love being sold to so I can see how someone's selling to it. Because being able to observe this and being able to take the good points and use it for yourself in the future and again, leave the bad points or leave what kind of turns you off uh, the way someone sells is a great way to move forward. I think my ticket cost me three or four hundred pounds. There was tickets for as much as fifteen hundred pounds where you're like VIP, I think round table, but I didn't get one of those tickets. So mine was just the basic ticket and I got enough value from it that I think it was a good event. And if you are considering going to one of these events in the future, then I would say, yeah, go along and observe them for yourself. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope that you have got some takeaways kind of from, from the takeaways that I've got from it. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this and just generally about building your business online, whether that's on Amazon, on Shopify, wherever you plan to do it, I plan to be putting out the best content that I possibly can on this channel. So hit the subscribe button uh, down. I think it's in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. So hit that now so that you will see uh, more videos like this in the future. I hope that you have enjoyed this one. I look forward to speaking to you on the next one. Bye.